waters, but they needed to find proof. Now, Ethan Gutman, a project scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, found a way to show how climate change would affect hurricanes. Gutman ran a computerized simulation of 22 named hurricanes that occurred between 2001 to 2013. In the simulation, he changed the temperature, the humidity, the wind speed, and direction to mimic the conditions expected in the future as a result of climate change. How did the hurricanes respond to climate change? The hurricanes all had more rain and, on average, stronger wind speeds, but each hurricane reacted differently to climate change. While some scientists believe there is enough evidence to say that climate change caused by human activities is the reason for the increase in the number and strength of recent hurricane seasons, other researchers are still unsure that climate change is the only cause. That's important. Since hurricanes form without any help from humans, scientists know that there could be other things in nature influencing their formation and strength that have nothing to do with climate change. One example is an El Nino or La Nina event. El Nino and La Nina events cause unusual warming or cooling of the ocean waters near the equator, affecting weather patterns around the world, end quote. Okay, that's all fine and good, but by October of 2019, New data was published in an article by the Yale School of the Environment saying, quote, climate change is increasing the frequency of extreme El Nino events, leading to intensifying droughts, worsening floods, and shifting hurricane patterns, according to a new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, end quote. So it is a bit disingenuous to separate, quote, natural phenomena that create hurricanes, floods, and fires, and climate change as if there's no relationship. And of course, believing that anything is the only cause in a complex system is foolhardy. No scientist would ever say anything is the only cause. It would be like saying, quote, cigarette smoking is the only cause of lung cancer. No, obviously there are many compounding and confounding causes for the troubles we face. But prudence suggests that we always start where we know we can have an effect. For example, you may, may inhale carcinogens every day driving to work, and you may not be able to avoid it. But you should still have your basement checked for radon leaks, and for God's sake, give up smoking, right? The same would be true of anthropogenic causes of climate change. We can't control planetary patterns like El Nino events. But still, we can stop adding things to the atmosphere that can exacerbate them. And now we have studies that are making the link clearer. Quote, the study, led by scientists in China and the United States, examined data from 33 El Ninos dating back to, to 1901. It found that since the 1970s, El Nino, a natural periodic warming in the Pacific Ocean that can change weather patterns globally, have been forming farther to the west in the Pacific Ocean, where temperatures are warmer. Strong El Ninos can cause severe drought in dry climates, such as Australia and India, intense 